Wondering whether aluminum T-track or wooden T-slot is the right choice for your next project? As it turns out, it kind of depends on your needs and your wallet. For around $45, you can buy these two router bits and run hundreds, maybe thousands of feet of wooden track. And of course, you can use these bits for other applications as well. Or you can buy this one four foot long stick of aluminum T-track for $18, which is actually a pretty good deal. Aluminum T-Track is great. It looks sharp, it's durable, and it's easy just to route out a groove and install it. But there are a couple of issues that can make it kind of a pain. The first is hardware. Aluminum track gets secured into its groove with screws. Screws that may need to be very short depending on the application. I had to make a special trip to the store just for these tiny screws in order to install this track in my drill press table. Short screws means that there isn't a lot keeping the track in place. An easy fix is to add some 5-minute epoxy or thick CA, also known as super glue, into the grooves before installing it to help keep things where they're supposed to be. Also, you will inevitably end up needing to drill and countersink new holes in aluminum track, which can be an inconvenience. In a lot of situations, wood track is just as easy and just as strong as aluminum track, and as a bonus, there's no hardware. No epoxy, no limit to how long of a run you can have, it's less expensive and you can run your own custom profiles for things like track clamps. But there are two situations where aluminum track can be superior. One situation is clamping. Without downward force being applied to the top of a wood track, it will break apart with too much stress as the knob pulls the T-bolt right up through the top of the track. In some situations, you can combat this by routing the track deeper into the material. But since aluminum is stronger than plywood layers or wood grain either way, aluminum track is sometimes the only way to go. One thing that can be done to strengthen wooden track is to run thin CA glue along the sides of the groove. Thin CA glue will soak into the pores of the wood and make it plastic-like. For even more protection, follow that up with a layer of medium CA. This combination will form a plastic-like layer on the inside of the slot, and while it won't make it as strong as aluminum, it's a great way to strengthen a wood track for cheap. The other situation where aluminum track is the only way to go is if you need a track on the ends or sides of plywood, like 3 quarter or 18 millimeter material, like for a stop block on a crosscut sled fence. So which one's better? In my opinion, both and neither. It just depends on the application. Adjustable stop blocks, cheap and easy is the way to go. Clamping situations where there will be a constant amount of upward pressure being applied without support from the top, aluminum is the only way to go. And for those wondering, yes, I will talk about my new drill press table on a future video.